back with Fishing in Troy. We are not fishing though. We are not doing a review on fishing. As you can see, we have a magnificent um, water snake. This guy is very alert. I just caught him about 10 minutes ago. Mmm, 10, 20. Ooh, trying to get a little wrap around me. These guys use their skills of biting down. And when they bite down, they do not let go. They have backward facing teeth, so when they bite, their prey cannot get along. And they do not want to hurt you, but they will protect themselves. They have um, backwards facing scales, so you always put them like this, if you are going to put them. You can hold them like this, you can hold them like this. That is if you want to be possibly a bit, um, which it may happen. Especially with bigger snakes, they're a lot more afraid. But this guy also, now you can tell a water snake between a cottonmouth or a water moccasin. They are both basically the same thing. Or, no, they're very different, but they look basically the same. You can tell with one, as you can see, a cottonmouth, or I call them cottonmouth. You can also call them water moccasins. These guys have a very white mouth, the water moccasins, which are very deadly and venomous. We don't actually have any venomous species we're out of, but, as you can see, this guy should have a pink mouth. I didn't look in his mouth yet. But, uh, this guy will, and indeed he does. It's not completely pink, as you can see. No snake will ever have a complete pink mouth. But, white is, it's pure white, and there's no hint of pink, as you can see. There's a big hint of pink on the lips, and all that. Another way to tell is that this is a sometimes, because these snakes like to do it triangle head, like a very narrow triangle head, they'll have that, but as I get him angry, he'll try to turn his head into a diamond, not a diamond, a uh, very, almost a square, but not a square. Let's see if I can get him to do that, um, he may or may not, there we go, that, just a little bit more, ooh, there's a nice mouth for him, for you. Ooh, look at that guy. Big mouth. His tail, as you guys can see, has been probably nicked off by something that probably did it. Maybe in another snake. Get up close. Get a close up on that. Did you get it? Of oh, his tail right here? I'll get you a little finger of where it is. And then I'll just bring it up right over here. Can you see the little notch? Can you see it? There we go. Um, it's probably been bit off or something, but it has regrown, and it is a very healthy snake. This guy has have has some fat. He hasn't eaten in a while. He's very thin, so that's to expect of a wild caught snake. But these guys are very very friendly. They won't bite you normally. Normally, so. Yes, and then this guy has a very colorful back, which I'm not going to even pinch down his head, but I'll show you that right there. Look at how pretty that back is. It looks like a Oreo. That's another way to identify cotton mouth and water snakes, or water, I'll call them water moccasins and water snakes. Water moccasins have way more white on their belly, not saying that they have full white, but they have way more white than this. These snakes just have a little bitty gloss. And this is also very weird about this snake. You can see where the tail was bitten off. If you come right here, there's three on a diagonal and they're messed up. That's where it was bit. You can just see it right there. And these guys are sunny. It does like to burrow under absolutely everything, especially if they feel threatened. So he may bury under my shoes or something along this line of this video. These guys are pretty and will pack a punch, the big ones, when they bite. Um, these guys have backward facing scales again. And I'm gonna see if I can show you guys teeth really quick. If I can use twigs, so just follow me. Where are you coming right here? 
to do just fine. Just show you guys the true things of these things. Which are absurd. Four house cards. They are. He's in a striking position right now. So I'll let him chill out for a couple seconds. Use the net just to move a little bit. How I caught this guy is I did just use the net as he's going to see. He's going to crawl right under me. You can probably see his head right now. But on the other side of me. Uh, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It will be fine for this experiment. As you can see, you can just grab him right here. I have more grip. Um, but um, what you do? I'm just gonna show you. Well, not what you do, but I'm gonna show you. Hey, you guys. Thing. Not really exposing him right now, but come up close. Come up close. Come up close. Come up close. Come on. No, you have to actually get up close. First camera job that he's ever done, so it's fine. It's good work. Um, you can just see the serrated teeth on the back. The fangs are hidden right back there. Okay, you, hey guys, quiet. Hey, quiet. This guy's a pretty guy, and you can also. Show his fangs by doing this or by holding down this and just pulling up the top lip. Which is the most dangerous way in my thought because if he gets a thing in you, water moccasins, they will hurt. I mean, they're venomous, so they've got to hurt. I've never been bit by a venomous species at all. Um, I've never even bit, been bit by, no, I've been bit by three snakes in my whole life. All very tiny, nothing ever big. Um, but I've caught probably 30 or 40 snakes. These guys are absolutely pretty. And if you can just come up really close, really close, he won't bite you, don't worry. You can just see he just likes to wrap around your arm and get support. That's the main thing that they want. They need support. His face right there is doing very nice. And he feels very wobbly, he may bite. So I have to be careful about that. As you can see, he's back in the striking position. Most people do not think how you find a striking position. Some people think that, oh, well, wow, snakes do it. Don't these other snakes do it? This is not a striking position. Nope. This guy's fine. He may strike in that position, but a true striking position is, I'm trying to get him a little restless. Um, this little stick here. I'm just going to mess with his face a little bit. He'll get in the striking position eventually. This guy just doesn't want to bite, does he? There's his diamond-shaped head. Uh, this guy doesn't want to bite, as we can all see. No, oh, it's a good boy. This video is very gonna be very short. Not like 20 minute reviews or anything. You know, I've got for fishing soon. Don't you know that? It's a really good season. Just caught a couple bass yesterday, actually. Uh, the day before that, I meant. But these snakes are just so, so pretty. Look at that. And I wish you could smell it because these things smell disgusting. Their musk is so strong. I mean, like, just look at this pretty girl though. Ooh, that was almost a strike for me. That was bad on me. You don't ever put your hands behind it. But in this video, I'm also going to show you my new fish tank. I just got some plants and new cardinal tetras today. So I will take it from my uh, um, person right here when we get ready. Not yet, I'm just telling you, so stay to the end, and I'll give you a sneak peek about that. But just look how pretty that girl is. How gorgeous. And she's ready to get back in the water. I caught her in a little creek. These people love creeks. They can move, they love fast water or slow water. Both can work. They both live in both. They live in both. They live in both. They're very nice. They're fragile creatures, too. So we all have to be careful about not hurting them. These creatures can be hurt very easily. Ooh. And you handling these things is also a, del a very delicate art. 
you have to be ready to kick a bite and not to throw it to the ground. Um, you also have to be ready to take a bite from another steak and not lose it. Because that can be bad for, you know, you. Yeah, yeah. But you have to be willing to take bites with these snakes. As you can see, they love burrowing under absolutely anything. Right under me right now. I know he won't bite me, he feels very safe. So he's not going to bite me. And if I now move my leg, he may take a snap at my thigh right there. He's so nice, he doesn't even take a snap at my leg. Oop, I'm going to just sit on him. That's what you should want. Don't want to do. <laughs> It's very expensive for her. I've also made you film a little bit of the creek that I did catch him in. I also caught a couple creek chubs, chub, and out of all, a really weird, the horny fish. It was red too. But this guy is just so beautiful. Just look at how pretty he is. Don't back up, Jim. Get closer. I mean, like, just the prettiest absolute thing ever. Can you get the whole snake on this? Its things are small for, I mean, it's a small snake, as you can see. These things do grow to be about three times bigger. And water moccasins also grow way bigger. So you have to be very careful about that. But, as you can see, these guys are very nice. And I'm sorry I do have comments turned off. I don't know how to put those on. But it's okay, you can like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. That would very help, very so much help. Also share with all your friends that love nature, snakes, and all this stuff. It's very cool, and I love doing this. And I mean, they're just so, so cute. And I am also getting into, off topic from the snake, planted aquariums. I have one tank still, but it is a planted. It is um, a 10 gallon, it has, Five um, neon cardinal tetras, which are up to size, they're pretty old, and uh, five, six pygmy corridors, and three monstrup. They are very cute, and I love them. I plant a tank, I think I fixed it really well. I got Java moss, uh, sword tail, bleh, bleh. Sword Nubius, or I don't know how to pronounce it. I just got this too. No, I got some really beautiful stuff today. And you have to be careful handling these. Most of the times, you can't just pick up a wild one. This guy's very tame. He doesn't want to bite me. He really doesn't. He wants to have comfort and just get back into the wild. He's not on here, his wish list to kill. He doesn't want to hurt you. These things are mis um, misunderstood, yes, a lot. Many people think that they're killers and that if they're big enough, they can kill somebody, they will take that chance. Or these little guys will just take a bite out of you. I don't see any bites being taken out of me. Nothing. I'll even show you the stick. I don't want to get bit, but you probably won't even like this. Doing this, he's not even biting this. You would if you were endangered, I feel like. If you thought you were being endangered by a human, they can, I can easily kill her. I mean, I can easily kill the thing and she knows it. She obviously knows that I could. I could take the gun right there. Not a real gun, obviously, a fake toy gun. And just jab her. her. Ooh, I'm so sorry. That didn't hurt her much, luckily. Ooh, it's okay. But it would hurt her a lot. So, and she knows that. She can see that she has many problems that she has to watch out for. When I was catching her with um, my hands. Which, you know, I don't use any special stuff or anything, but I love these animals. And they're just so dang cute. She's trying to get at my fish at my line, actually. And I didn't want to hook her because if I hooked this thing, that's not going to be a fun ride for either of us. I'd probably be bit five or six times because I'm not leaving a hook on this girl's mouth. Who would ever? That would be so mean. 
You have to keep, you have to take the hook out. You have to. These things are just so, so beautiful and I love them. I mean, just look at how pretty these things are. They're just so, so, so cute. Hey. And they're just so pretty. I love catching them and they're fun to catch because they're enjoyable because they don't bite you. I mean, I've been bit three times, I intentionally bit two to see how much a little one would take a bite. I didn't even feel it. You just don't have to be worried about snakes like this. You have to be worried about vipers and venomous species. Pythons, you don't even have to be worried about. If you live in Florida, don't even be worried about pythons. Your livestock does stuff. Um, off that topic. Um, and condas can get huge also. You also don't have to be worried about them as long as you just don't bother them. They won't bother you. Sorry about the background noise. It's fine. Just some kids having some fun. And they're dead. These things are just so, so cute. And all I want to do is just not do anything. I mean, I'll put them on my lap right here to show you that she won't fight. She'll try to bury. Look. She's trying to find somewhere to bury. Look. When she moves and she puts her head down. I'll show you it again. I'll show you it again. When she puts her head down, like that. She's trying to bury down. She's not trying to bite. Look at that, just inching her way down. I'll give her a little free space so that she can get down there. Good girl. But these things are just so, so cute. And really are just a magnificent thing. Magnificent. Magnificent thing. Oh, I said it works, but you can hang them on your neck and they won't hurt you. Now, they're not jewelry either. So don't be like, oh, I'm gonna wear this girl with jewelry and show up to a ball or anything. No. These things are pretty and are meant to be left in the wild. You do not ever make jewelry out of these things or clothes or anything. You need a lot of these guys for them. But pythons don't ever do that. But, I mean, there is meat on this guy, so you could catch him and eat him. And I would, I mean, that's a good, good use of them. There's many in the wild. And many people can find them. So, really, work wherever you live, you can find them. Except if you live in live in Antarctica, which I don't think anybody who watches my videos yeah. live in Antarctica. Mm -hmm. But come up close, up close again. But these are just so so cute. I mean, the back along the the black stripes, or I guess some people could call them brown are just so pretty. Then they have that mix between a silver and gray and then on the back white. Just so, so pretty. Sorry about the background noise again. So you want it off. Um, these things won't hurt you really. You can hang them around their shoulder. As long as they don't aggravate them, which anything, it'll hurt her. Which is why you don't wear them like jewelry, like I just did. So don't ever do that. But it's the best idea if you don't have much ideas of ever catching any of these guys. If you've never ever caught them, just don't mess with them. It's the best to keep afar. Also, if you don't know what they are, if you're even 1% sure you don't know what they are, don't catch them. Even experts, if they don't know, if they're experts with turtles, snapping turtles or anything, Um, take your chance and just keep cool with these things. They are nice, beautiful animals, and they deserve to stay in the wild. That is how the snake has lived for in millions of years. Not this one particularly, but its species. It has lived for millions and millions and millions of years, breathing and saying, Nice, nice time. But yeah, I'll go release them right now. And um, yeah.
off.